You're tuning into the Tech Me Show. Welcome to the Tech Me Show. Today I'm going to show you really quickly how to uh, uh, obtain a JSON uh, uh, API and I'm going to show you what to do with it basically. Uh, I went ahead and made a blank project here, literally a blank project and you do that by going to uh, well, it pops up when you f usually uh, open up uh, your version of Visual Studio. If not, you just go to File, New Project. Um, but we're going to go ahead and just utilize this one that I just created, uh, which you can download at my blog. I'll put it on there, lance.compulsivetech.biz. That's C-O-M-P-U-L-S-I-V-E-T-E-C-H dot B-I-C. So we'll do using uh, windows.data. Uh, dot json right so now that basically says hey we have json uh, access so what we're going to first do now is uh, in here since the URI uh, we may use it sometime again who knows so we'll go ahead and do public string uh, the URI will say equals and that is exactly where our uh, URI will be uh, which I won't let you guys see that one uh, because it will be utilizing uh, my API. So I'm going to go ahead and scoot this down so that you guys won't be able to see it. Sorry, but, you know, none of anybody's business. Sorry. Um, so now we can do it in the main page, but what we're going to do right now is go ahead and type uh, uh, git... Uh, JSON now. Well, we'll just do git JSON, and obviously it's going to error because it doesn't exist. So now in Windows uh, 8, it's a little bit different than Windows Phone. So we'll go ahead and we'll go do private uh, async. Oops, async, uh, and then we'll do void, and let's do git JSON right, and go ahead and put in our brackets, and oops. And I like to end the brackets. So as you see, uh, it's given us a problem saying, oh, it wants a wait. It's just a warning. Um, but we don't like warnings, do we? So let's go ahead and do uh, var HTTP uh, equals new HTTP client, which I guess I have not added that yet, right? So if I go ahead and do this in a second, it'll highlight giving me a problem. So here we'll do using system.net HTTP and since I haven't put in the JSON yet you'll see that it went ahead and placed it right here for us. So we'll go back down right and uh, we're now going to go ahead and uh, make our request. Well we're going to ch change the buffer size and limit that real quick. So let's go HTTP dot um, I think it's max. There we go. Look at that big baby. Uh, and then we'll do int 32. Uh, and then max value. Um, and then let's go ahead now and do our var response equals await, which our uh, Visual Studio will be very happy shortly. And then we're going to do git string async. And then we'll put the URI, and as you see, it automatically pops up. Right? Give it a second. Now you notice we have no more warnings and no more errors. So that's good news. Um, and then now to utilize our JSON, very simple, we'll do var uh, root uh, object. And then we'll do equals JSON convert. Trust me, it'll make sense soon. Uh, JSON convert uh, deserialize. Oops, deserialize object. Uh, and I believe it's going to be job class, we'll say, uh, dot root object. And you always want to have that root object usually um, in your, uh, um, you know, to deserialize, which you'll see in a moment. Um, and then we'll go ahead and uh, I guess it'll be response, right? Uh, like so. Now, Look at this, you know, code. If I didn't put this space here, you basically have f four lines of code, 
and it basically is going to do amazing things, right? So now you see it says JSON convert. Oh, it doesn't know anything. Well, the reason for that is because I'm setting this up to utilize um, what's it called? Uh, uh, the other JSON, uh, which you'll see in a second, JSON.net. Uh, so we'll go to manage new get packages for solution. Go ahead and type JSON. Oops, online. And we'll do JSON. Should pop up. There we are, JSON.net, right? Uh, and we know it's the right one because this is Newton Soft JSON. Go ahead and click install. Go ahead and press OK. Let it install. OK, that's done. Now we'll go all the way up here and go using newt.json and just like that, go back down. Again, we've locked up the URI. Now it's given us a problem, hey, this job class doesn't exist, right? And it wants to generate a class. Well, I've already created a class for this, so I'm going to go ahead and get it from one of my other projects. So we'll go to existing item and we'll go over and we'll go into my other app here. Let's find where that baby is. Job class. Okay. Now in a second this should clear up. Okay, maybe not. Rebuild. And it still has a hmm. Very odd. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> okay, whatever. So we'll let it do its thing. That's what I thought. Okay, so just rebuild. It caught on to whatever it did for whatever reason. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at our main uh, XAML page. And I hate how this happens. I like to just look at the design or strictly XAML, right? And I hate how this doesn't fit. So I'll go to fit selection. Now, as you see, this is completely blank, right? We'll go to toolbox. Um, let's go ahead. What should we give you guys? Um, you know what? Let's just do a text block, right? And let's call this uh, text res result sample and press enter. Always press enter. And I'm going to put the result will be here. And let's give it a good size so that we can actually see it. We'll even make it bold. Now that's a decent font, but uh, you get the idea. Always probably go with the, uh, well, it doesn't matter. We'll talk about designing another time. Just want to make this video real quick because we do get complaints that uh, our videos are a little bit long for people. So let's just go into our example here. And uh, looks okay, right? I think so. Now you notice we didn't do any binding. Uh, and we'll see if that works. Now, do I know the answer if it works or not? Of course I know. But uh, that's besides the point for right now. So let's go back to our example.cs. Again, this is a learning experience. So then we'll put uh, output, oops, output JSON details. So now we'll uh, figure out what that uh, by doing txt. See, and that will help you if you ever program often abbreviate what you're using so you can find it and as you can hear my dog in the background uh, somebody pissed him off okay buddy <laughs> so we'll go ahead and do tab I apologize if he's way too loud for you text and we'll go ahead and do root object dot and then we'll choose one of the things here and I'm gonna say I want to know what the query was um, and so we'll go ahead and do that and you know what? Let me go ahead and pause this video and shut my dog up. Give me a Okay, and we're back. Incredibly sorry for my dog barking horribly. Uh, but in the meantime, I was able to fill in the URI. So right now, we're basically saying the text result sample.txt, we want the root object right here, as you see, it highlights. And we want the query, which is coming from the root object. We can go ahead and look at the job class, as you see. Uh, here's the result. Here's the root object. So what is it exactly doing, right? Root object is giving us these different options, right? 
and public string query. So because it is a string, we can say, hey, tell me what that was. Uh, where as if it was um, something different like the list, which it's saying go to the result, which would be somewhere in here. So we could get the job title or whatever, right? So we'll go ahead and close that. So right now we're just saying, you know what? Tell me again what we typed, but I'm gonna go ahead and type in, you typed and do something like that and see if that works, right? So now, right now it wants you to load it in the local machine. I'm not doing that. We're gonna use the simulator. I like the simulator. Uh, so let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. And we did it, guys. We got it, uh, what we sent to uh, the API, uh, which was programming. And so it worked, and that's great news for us. Um, so that goes to show you, it grabbed the contents of what we sent as the query to the API. And that is absolutely correct. And that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it. Have a good day.